Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Merry Christmas. Yes, I've decided to do a makeup tutorial on Christmas Eve. So I am going to be recording this video, editing and uploading on your screen today. Okay, I've been meaning to do a holiday look for the longest, but obviously life is, is busy. So I thought why not just do at least one right before Christmas. I'm going to be using new products today as well, so I'm excited. I actually haven't used some of them. I think most of them. Most of them I haven't used yet. So technically it's like a first impressions kind of thing. So yeah, I'm going to stop talking and let's get on with this video. So I've already prepped my skin in terms of, um, you know, I did a face mask today, which I haven't done in a very long time. Sometimes, guys, please treat your skin to a nice face mask. I'm going to go in with... You know, my beloved Smashbox Primer. Next, I'm going to colour correct with my Smashbox um, corrector. And what I've realised is, I like to go in with my finger and blend my corrector out. I don't know why, but I feel like it just does not budge. And you know me, I mean, if you've been following me for a while, I don't like to go in with my fingers to blend out a product or anything like that unless I have to. But you know what? This works out so much better and it stays in place, except for this hat. Next up is foundation. I'm going to use my Estee Lauder Double Wet in bronze, but it's a bit too dark for me, so I'm going to mix it in with my Nick. Um, total control drop in golden I actually did buy the Huda Beauty foundation um, but that is slightly dark for me um, and I don't know I just it's got a scent to it so it's like an Arabic oud smell um, which I really do not want to smell today like I just basically with me I'm very sensitive when it comes to like strong perfumes I instantly get headaches so I don't want to get a headache on Christmas Eve you know what I mean gonna go see the family later on so I don't have time for that so flawless look at that oh my god and next up is concealer and I'm so excited to introduce to y'all the Tarte Shape Tank Okay, I'm probably like 365 days late. I decided to grab myself the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer that everybody was going crazy about this year. And Tarte sent me a voucher um, for like, what was it, 25% off? And I thought, uh, let me just get my hands on it while I can. Like, I don't understand why I've longed it out. But anyway. I is back with spending money on makeup a lot more because like I haven't bought that much makeup at all this year so I kind of treated myself towards the end of this year I'm not gonna lie my shade is in tan sand you guys have um, for you guys that follow me on Instagram you probably saw it on my insta story on um, the first day that I put it on and guys when I tell you this thing lasts so long and like you know what it is as well Usually my other concealers, I love them and stuff, but at the end of the day, they kind of crease a little bit. This, God, it's like I put it on literally just like 10 minutes ago. I love it, it lasts all day. I love the applicator as well. It reminds me of the Clinique 2-in-1 foundation. So worth it. Um, it's full coverage. It's so seamless. It just spreads so well. Um, I don't know what I can say, like, it's just an awesome, awesome concealer. Like, oh, just look at that. It just takes two seconds to just blend it out. And the thing is, you know with me that I've got like these deep lines in around my dark circles and I hate those, so this just covers it amazingly. So next up, I'm going to set my concealer with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Now this been raved about for I think two years now maybe longer but I finally have my hands on it I don't know what's wrong with me I'm just with me 
when it when something's really popular I'm, I don't buy it straight away trust me I'll, I'll wait a few months so you guys know me I'm always with Sasha buttercup so this is gonna be really weird because it doesn't have the yellow tones that I usually like in a setting powder so let's see going to quickly contour with my Bobbi Brown foundation stick in number nine Just gonna quickly do my eyebrows. Now it's time for some eyeshadow. Um, this I bought literally in on my birthday when I went to Barcelona. So went to Sephora and I got the Huda Beauty um, Desert Dusk palette. It's so different to the rose gold. So you've got a bit more purples in this uh, and look guys it's got a mirror she listened and she brought a mirror in there so yeah I love this um, quality is much much better than the rose gold palette if you haven't watched my review for that then suggest you go watch it but wait don't watch it yet finish this video then you can go watch it I'll leave the link in the description down below gonna go in with amber which is that color there and I'm just going to pop that as my transition colour. Then I'm going to go in with saffron, which is like a reddish colour. I'm going to pop that literally into and just above my crease. Guys, the colour pay off. <laughs> okay, sorry. I'm just getting too excited. I'm just going to deepen it just a little, a little bit. Um, I'm going to go in with Oud right there and I'm just going to put it in my outer corner and just a little bit into my crease. Then I'm just going to get the brush that I used for my transition shade and I'm just going to blend it out. I want that proper smoky look, you know. So I'm gonna get tur some Turkish Delight <laughs> on my eyelids and I'm gonna top it up with Cosmo on top because Cosmo is like a glitter. Now we talking, boo boo. Now we talking. Yes, look at that glitter. Just gonna dust off any glitter that I have. So, so with a small brush, gonna go in with hmm, probably go in with some saffron. Um, I'm gonna put that under my waterline. Smoke it out right there. So eyelashes, put on, mascara on. Now let's get to the final touches. So next up is my favorite bit as everybody knows, some, you know, highlighter. So I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty um, Kilowatt Highlighter. I'm gonna be using Hustler Baby instead because it's got more shimmer. <laughs> Gonna just set my face with some setting spray. So lastly, I'm gonna go in with something that I've just been waiting for since I got it yesterday, and it is the Fenty Beauty Stella Lip Paint in Uncensored. Look how pretty it is, and it's so big. I didn't notice it was gonna be that big. That is huge, but oh my god, I cannot wait. Are you, are you ready? Are y'all ready? Are you? Are you? <laughs> okay. 
apparently you can use just one stroke like you don't even need to dip um, the brush back into the pot again but I don't know I've got a big bottom lip so we'll see that's cute okay okay Oh. I didn't even need to dip in again. It's so moisturizing as well. Ooh. Ooh. And I am done. And this is my holiday Christmas sexy look. I'm joking, not sexy. But this is gorgeous. Oh, I love it. So that's it for my tutorial guys, I hope you really enjoyed it, um, yeah, I'm glad I used the products, this, oh, I, you know what, there's nothing that I don't like. I'm going to test the Laura Mercier translucent powder a little bit more, because I just feel like it's a little bit, I don't know, it's nice, but there's something about it, I don't know, I don't know what it is. But um, yeah, concealer is great, lipstick, balm, I don't even do red lipstick like that. Like, trust me, that I don't, but this is gorgeous. Um, suits every single skin color as well. Oh, Rihanna, girl, you, you really, you really doing your thing, you really are. Um, and yeah, Huda Beauty, the palette, the Desert Dust palette is amazing, love it. Um, there's nothing I, yeah, there's nothing that I can say I don't like. With that being said, guys, I hope you guys have a merry, merry Christmas. Um, surrounded by your loved ones, your family, friends. And also, I'd like to give a big, big shout out to you guys. You guys, honestly, I cannot be thankful enough for your support. Um, it's been so amazing this year. 2017 has been great. I'm going to do a separate video, you know, about 2017, but... Honestly, I just want to say thank you guys to my supporters. Um, you guys have been great. Some of you guys actually became my friends. Um, and yeah, let 2018 be a great one. Um, now, why do I feel like I'm doing a speech for New Year's? But you know what I mean. <laughs> thank you guys so much for everything. Um, if you guys haven't already, Follow all my social medias, my Facebook, Instagram, which I will put somewhere on the screen or in the link uh, in the description bar below. But other than that, go have fun. See you later. Get fat. Go eat. Peace. <laughs>